there fellow travelers, Mark here with Walters World and we're in Gothenburg, Sweden enjoying a nice little trip in Sweden with the friendly Swedes and today what we have for you are 10 things that are going to shock you about visiting Sweden and the first thing that's going to shock you is the alcohol. You have to go to a special store called System Blöget to buy alcohol. Now beer you can get at like a 7-Eleven but if you want anything stronger than that you got to go to a government run store that is not open Saturday afternoons or Sundays or late in the evening during the week so if you want to grab some cheaper drinks from there you got to go shopping during the day and that is kind of a shock for some tourists when they're like oh my god I can't just get alcohol no you can't they do have kind of restrictive alcohol rules here in Sweden the second thing that might shock you is the people seem so reserved here, but then once midsummer comes or a festival comes, the Swedes go crazy with this singing. It's amazing how every Swede seems to know every national song, every Swedish drinking song, all kinds of stuff, and it can be so much fun if you come here in the summer or any time when they get into a festival, but it can be pretty shocking when you see, you know, people with wreaths of flowers in their hair and they're dancing around a maypole and stuff like this and it is pretty shocking because you're like wait wait these Swedes are usually so quiet and reserved and now they're crazy and that can be shocking but it is a lot of fun. The third thing that will shock you when you come to Sweden is the oh my god it is so beautiful here in terms of the nature. Whether you're going to the islands, the archipelagos here in Gothenburg or outside of Stockholm or you're going to the forest or you're just taking in a boat ride, going to somebody's summer house, going to the lakes, Honestly, Sweden is breathtaking beautiful from a nature's perspective. So make sure you get out of just Gothenburg or just Stockholm and go take in some of the nature because really you'll understand the Swedes so much more because they do go out to their summer houses and their summer cottages. They do go out on the boats. They do go out into the forest and hunt mushrooms. And if you're not used to that, it can seem a little different at first and shock you, but really go out and see the nature because it is so beautiful here that will shock you how pristine and clean the nature is here. It, it's fantastic. The fourth thing that might shock you when you're here, it might shock you into depression or it might shock you into eternal never sleeping, is the extremes in the dark at, in the winter and then the light in the summer. We're here in May and it's great. I mean, we have sunlight. I mean, I was up at five and the sun was already up going, hey Mark, it's time to get outside. And it's still up until 10, 11 o'clock at night and it's May. When you get to midsummers, I mean, you're, go you're having, you know, midnight sun, all kinds of stuff. And that is really kind of a cool thing for tourists. And it shocks you that you can literally be sitting outside at a cafe, having a beer, you know, $7 beer, but compared to Norway, it's cheap here, don't worry and you get there and you get to relax and next thing you know oh it's 11 o'clock and it's still light and that can kind of shock some tourists. Now on the other side if you're here in the winter the darkness you know still dark at 10 in the morning can be a little bit depressing so that can be a bit shocking you're like where's the sun is it ever coming out? No not really. Um, however I will say if you're here in the winter the northern lights fantastic. Make sure you get out of that nature and go see the northern lights. The fifth thing that might shock you when you come to Sweden is how quiet it is on public transportation. Now, if you're taking, I mean, if you're in Stockholm and you're taking the Orlando Express in, it's expensive, but you can take that in, no one talks. You walk into the train, you're like, I don't feel I should be talking. Look, public transport in Sweden is very, very quiet. Unless there's been some people drinking, then there's a little boisterous noise. But in general, it is very quiet here. The silence of Sweden or the Swedish silence can be a little off-putting when you're thinking, shouldn't people be talking on the street or talking to each other at a restaurant or on, on, on the train or something? No. So that might shock you is this kind of Swedish silence, okay? The sixth thing that might shock you when you're here is, well, frankly, the Swedes will make you look really, really bad. I mean, the Swedish people, men and women, I know people talk about the women more, but the men are gorgeous, the women are gorgeous, and you're going to feel like a slob when you're here. They have very good fashion sense, there's really cool design here, the people are in good shape and they're good looking, and you just feel like a scumbag when you're here because they have such good fashion and they're just so good looking here. And so it kind of shocks you, you're like, wow, they weren't lying, the Swedes really are really good looking. Okay, so that might be another shock for your system, you're like, Wow, they're so beautiful and I look like such garbage. <sighs> anyway, and, and then to make it worse is number seven, nudity. Yes, the Swedes are not prudes. They will gladly jump into the lake and go do the sauna naked. So if you might see a naked person here or there when you're here in the summer, 
winter no one gets naked because they don't want to freeze anything off okay except maybe in a sauna and go roll in the snow but just know that if you see nudity here it's okay you don't have to freak out and be like oh my goodness my baby can't see boobies they might see boobies here so just relax but it can shock an american tourist when they come here all right the eighth thing that might shock you when you come here which is actually a good shock is how safe it is here in sweden i mean literally i am never worried about anything i usually have my bags underneath my camera equipment when, when i'm filming here they're sitting over on a park bench you know right out there's nobody here bothering me and it's safe i mean you can go around you don't have to be worried about like holding your wallet all the time yes pay attention sometimes you know depending on who's around you you know, still got to pay attention but it is so safe here I wouldn't have a problem bringing my kids here and letting them play around I mean it is super safe in Sweden and that kind of shocks people sometimes they're like wait how is it so safe here I don't know but it is the ninth thing that might shock you when you come to Sweden is you can shop on Sundays no not everywhere but there's actually some places in Sweden you can actually shop on Sundays which anybody that travels in Europe knows that that's kind of a crazy thing but honestly, I mean, that's just a little thing. But actually, the ninth thing that's going to shock you is the service here. Now, the people are kind of reserved, and it's hard to get to know them. But once you get to know them, they are super friendly, and they will do anything for you, and they're so much fun. And you'll get to do the dances of the maypoles, and they'll teach you the songs. But to get to that part, it, it can be a bit tough. And that's why some people are shocked how friendly the Swedes are, because, number nine, the service here isn't very good usually the reason being is they're paid very well here and so they don't need they don't, you don't do tips maybe if it's really good you get like five percent but the service in sweden isn't very good and so people get kind of shocked about it but if you say hey which is like hi or talk or just simple talk is thank you some simple swedish they really open up and then they can be very very helpful but don't be surprised if at first you're thinking do they want my business or not that does happen. Once you get to know the Swedes, they're totally awesome about all this stuff. And you get to shop on Sunday sometimes. I'm, I'm still in shock about this. I want to go spend more money. It is expensive here, by the way. But So you'll spend money, but I, even though I can shop on a Sunday, I want to shop more. <laughs> and the tenth thing that might shock you when you come to Sweden is the line culture. Yes, you will wait in lines here in Sweden. So make sure you get your ticket so you can wait in line, okay? You don't have your ticket, they're not gonna take you in the line, okay? So make sure you get your ticket. And if it is a line, make sure you're standing in that line very, very straight and also be right next to the person next to you because if you like get some space between you, someone will walk around you. This might be at a deli, this might be at the breakfast thing at the hotel. But just know the line culture here is a bit strict and strange. Another thing with the lines, this is more of a Stockholm thing, is the lines to the clubs, which are really good in Stockholm, the bouncers there really do what we call face control. They look and see who they want in and they don't want in, and it doesn't always make sense. So if you're gonna go out in Stockholm and you don't wanna get shocked that you don't get in, dress the part and act the part and you got a better chance. Anyway, those are 10 things that I think will shock tourists, have shocked me when I've been here in Sweden. What shocks you? If you have any, please put it in the comment section below so we can have some more culture shocks for Sweden. And you know what? If you like videos like this, 10 shocks of Sweden, why don't you click that subscribe button and you can get other 10 shocks videos. 10 shocks about visiting Europe, 10 shocks about visiting China or the US, five things you love and hate about Sweden, all on our website at waltersworld.com and our YouTube channel, youtube.com slash waltersworld. We're also on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, and we really love all your comments, your subscriptions, your likes, and your views. So thank you very much, or Tuck from here in Gothenburg. Bye. Or hey, doll. <laughs>